What if all coral reefs died? There is still a chance to save them. Hi, I'm Charlie Gaboa. I conceived and built Paradiso Rito way back in 2016. I envisioned it as a resort and an art gallery, a venue for workshops, team building, and seminars, a center for positive change. I realized that this positive change can be applied to the community at large and the environment. I discovered that we are in the center of the center of the marine biodiversity in the world, a place which we call the Verde Island Passage. But I found out that there was so much trash, overfishing, out of school youth. Then I decided that this is where we are going to make the difference. All through my life, I've been always drawn to the ocean and have started diving since the mid 70s. I was uh, certified in 1976. And during that time, I called it the days of unnumbered fish. There was so much fish, it was unbelievable. Pools of fish would swim on top of us. The bottom would literally turn dark. We would look up and there would be thousands and thousands of fish. There was a time when sharks were abundant around the area, and that was really a sign that it was a balanced ecology. Uh, unfortunately, the shark was looked upon as an, a bad uh, creature that would just attack a human being without any reason. There was even one person, a spear fisherman, who really went out and hunted sharks. It was a game to him, just like hunting animals in Africa. And yes, that single spear fisherman practically decimated the shark population here in Anilao. As you can see, one person can make a huge impact, whether negative or positive. It's your choice. You know, there's a lot of slices of beauty here in the Philippines, uh, but unfortunately, you see some of those slices that are, are deteriorating. With a few friends here that I had in the Philippines, we made a decision to buy a resort. Uh, we built a eco resort there with the intention of helping the community and also just helping the environment there. The Verda Island Passage is a very special place to me. Uh, and when I went there, I was blown away how beautiful the place was, very pristine. It was even more enamored when I went under the water and had the opportunity to actually see what was happening underneath the water. It's a pristine place. It's a beautiful place. But, let's face it, there's been things that have been happening where it's not as beautiful as it probably was 100 or 200 years ago. Um, and I made a decision with my friends that, yes, we're going to build a resort, but we wanted to build an ecosystem resort that would give back to the community both above and below the water. And we want to make sure we continue to do that and we're making investments in the environment to help the Filipinos. Charlie and I first met around mid-2017. I'm Homer Hernandez. I'm a marine biologist and I've been working for the marine environment, specifically doing reef rehabilitation for the past 22 years. Actually, this area is my playground. We are right now standing in the middle of Verde Island Passage, which is considered by world-renowned scientists as the center of the center of marine biodiversity. That means we have the most number of species in a particular area as compared to the other areas around the world. This area needs to be preserved and protected. And there is urgency to that. Why? Because the degradation rate is getting faster and faster and faster year after year. Simula po nung 1970, talaga po napaganda dito ng pangisda. Sobra pong dami. Basta pumunta ka sa karagatan, mga one hour, Siguro ato, marami na kayong 
isda. Dito pong bandang huli na. Tayo-tayo na po. At mga nawala na ang isda at halos pinapuputo ka nila ng dinamita na nawawala na ang mga isda at nangihina sa, na ang panguhuli ng mga taga rito. Halos po dito, umpisa pa lamang ng alas 5 ng umaga, puro dynamite pa yan. Hanggang dito sa puntang Tingloy, sa lugar din yan, dynamite pa ginagamit. Kumina na ang pangingista ng taga rito sa amin sa mabili. To rehabilitate reefs off Paradiso Rito, we used metal and rock substrates sculpted by artist Phil de la Cruz for corals to latch onto. Art is meant to enrich lives figuratively by stimulating the senses. In the case of these reef sculptures, art enriches life literally by giving life. It is a collaboration with nature when you get involved with this art in any way, you become a co-creator. As we lower the sculpture, it started a unique cooperation between man and nature, science and art, towards a positive change. That signaled the start of the Sea Paradiso Foundation. As we built an ecosystem consisting of clams, corals, and substrates in the shape of the Twelve Apostles, we have begun to redeem the reef. What started with the submerging of substrates has expanded beyond the reef to the broader community. We've introduced some to scuba diving for them to appreciate the ocean below. The project has begun to bring the different sectors together. These artworks are underwater and serving as artificial habitat. We started with the baseline data, which is almost nothing. Right now, as I have dove this morning, I can already identify at least 20 coral genera at least 30 fish species. And there are a lot of other coral reef species residing already inside these installations. In the eight months since we started, uh, we can compare the growth and the development of the mini ecosystem we're building. You can see now that divers are frequenting the area from as far as Puerto Galera, imagine, going to this site just to see the installations and the organisms slowly accumulating and being recruited to the installation. With these little indicators or little successes we're observing week after week, I can surmise that in a few more years, of having this effort sustained, I can say that in five or more years, it will already become established gene bank for the surrounding e ecosystem. Because we're also planning to have this area declared as a marine reserve. And with that, this area will not just be the source of larvae, also it will become the source of fish protein for the community to catch. And that will have economic effect for all the surrounding environment. So, in essence, the Verde Island Passage will have a steady source of organisms in these simple installations, which has just started with a good intention and a big dream. It's a perfect classroom for teaching scuba diving because of the insensitive sandy bottom and the growing collection of exotic species. It's provided an excellent new site for 
not just macro photography but wide angle photography. She's great for uh, beginner and experienced photographers alike. I'm committed and I'd love to have other people work with us um, how we make sure these pristine things continue to have uh, the investment and in the ecological support so that when, again, when my kids are 50 years from now, can take their kids there and be able to see a beautiful ecosystem. This is our way to redeem the reef, and we would like you to be a part of it. The vision of Paradiso Rito being an eco-resort and art gallery extended from above the sea to under it. The Twelve Apostles, figures of the fishers of men, ironically attracted fishes at first, but as the ripple of their effect widened, the community as a whole is taken in, and the sea will fill with fish again.